Hi, I'm Robert Dutt from ChannelBuzz.ca, joined once again by Mark Sokol, Director of Product Marketing for ConnectWise. Mark, thanks for taking the time again. Thanks, Robert. Uh, we're here in the, the ConnectWise labs and uh, wanted to talk a little bit about growth. And I know it's I know it's a hot topic around here, just walking around the halls a little bit today. It seems, uh, I, I know you're saying you're moving to a new location soon and uh, you know it, it's clear that this is a growing business. Uh, what mm -hmm. kind of growth are you seeing at ConnectWise and, and what's sort of the growth strategy? Yeah, um, so ConnectWise, obviously we focus, you know, strictly on the channel, you know, and solution and technology providers. Uh, every month we bring on about approximately 100 new partners every month. Of course, we call our partners who are, you know, our end users for ConnectWise our partners, yeah. right, because of uh, that's our belief in the channel itself and helping to grow. Um, so about 100, yeah, we, so we expect... Uh, Reaching, approaching uh, these days, right, over sixty thousand uh, end users uh, of of ConnectWise, and that's just been exponential. Uh, and that keeps, you know, we keep adding to that um, each and every month. So we're very excited about how we're going to uh, end up the year. Um, we're pretty aggressive in our, our our marketing efforts and 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 how we promote, but we're also uh, very aware uh, of the the community itself. Mm. We believe our growth. You know, we, we have, uh, obviously, from a marketing, you know, standpoint, uh, we had that growth. But we built, we like the community that we've developed uh, in the form of our user groups that we have. We have uh, 10 uh, uh, every every quarter, uh, actually for three quarters, and then we have our big event, IT yeah. Nation. Um, but bringing uh, those solution providers and MSPs together in that community and learning and, and growing from each other, that it's almost a viral thing. It mm -hmm. really is. We have over 100 uh, typically at each of these events all throughout the world, um, including Toronto. Um, and uh, it's, it's really an exciting thing. Uh, we have new partners. Typically, it's about 40 to 50 percent new partners actually show up at these user groups. Uh, sometimes I hear from uh, the partners that they just walk away with one thing to help them grow their business that, mm -hmm. made, that made their year. And uh, so that's kind of the excitement, I think, within ConnectWise. And I think it's really the growth that we've experienced uh, to kind of sum it up is that we believe in really giving back to the IT nation. As our partners grow, ConnectWise grows, and that's, that's really our focus. Okay. Um, on the product side, the, sort of the, uh, one of the interesting things about, uh, about ConnectWise's PSA is, of course, it's, uh, it's a living, breathing entity. It's constantly evolving. Yeah, sure. Um, what's on tap for 2012? What's the plans in terms of features you're adding, and, and what are VARs and MSPs asking you for? Yeah. Um, more integrations, more integrations. <laughs> we get, uh, we have someone uh, focused on it. Uh, her name's Amy, and uh, we have a, a ton of new uh, vendors that uh, our partners and or uh, even uh, those that are maybe looking at, at coming on to ConnectWise are asking about, do you integrate with this, yeah. this solution? Uh, so we get a, a lot of phone calls uh, from all over the world about integration. The nice thing about ConnectWise is, and we're continuing this this year, is just enhancing those open integrations. We believe in an open platform in the form of our APIs. Uh, last year, we rolled out a managed service uh, API, which was new, which can uh, essentially extend virtually anything. Any information can be pulled into ConnectWise hmm. and be managed. Um, so that's where our focus is, is to continue to, our big focus is to continue to evolve those APIs so more and, and more of these integration partners uh, can extend their uh, services within ConnectWise, and then our partners, in turn, uh, can use that centralized uh, ConnectWise, the PSA platform, uh, to manage uh, uh, you know their systems, their devices, and ultimately provide uh, the best service that they can to their clients. It's uh, I think the goal has has always been sort of for ConnectWise to be the hub of the MSP's business. It sounds like we're getting to the point where it can be beyond the the service delivery part of the business, the the hub for the overall business. Yeah, sure. I mean, we've talked about uh, we have this term here that we uh, we've used for for years about silos of chaos. <laughs> and our first partners would uh, uh, initially would call us because they were using maybe Outlook, maybe a whiteboard, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Excel. And uh, an email, and then they have they have disparate systems. Basically, you know, maybe they have a ticketing system that uh, they they got online for free or something like that these days. Um, but we we kind of take all of that and pull it together. Yeah, we definitely believe, you know, from the ticketing to the, the marketing side of it, and then ultimately down to the invoicing. Um, that's the big benefit to our, our partners. Um, but in the end, it really comes down to 
managing your, your time. And uh, if we can help partners just manage their time and be able to bill for their time that they're, yeah. they're utilizing, um, that's, that's a big win right there. There's value right there, yeah, yep. absolutely. Um, uh, you mentioned community a few times, and, and sort of beyond the, the core of the products, there's, there's a lot going on, it seems, both in terms of uh, the new website, in terms of technical certifications. Can you walk us through what you're doing sort of uh, outside of the core product uh, around building that community and, and providing more to the MSPs? Yeah, we spend uh, a lot of money on, uh, on community events all throughout the year. Janine Edwards heads yep. up, the Director of Community. She does a great job, has a, has a small team, um, and they're very effective. They do a great job with that. They put on uh, 30 uh, uh, user group events yep. uh, during the year, and, and they also uh, put on the, uh, uh, they're responsible for the IT Nation event. Um, the, the user groups and IT Nation, to a, even a larger extent, are really bringing, they could be competitive, non-competitive, but it really brings our provider, our, uh, our partners together uh, to really support each other. Uh, if you go walk through those halls or you listen or you're going out to dinner at, at a user group, they're really sharing ideas. Um, something as simple, uh, we were, t uh, you know, some of the things that are coming up with mobile device management, let's say, mm -hmm. right? How much do you charge to manage an iPad, right? Yeah. I don't know. You know, say so these are the things that they're bouncing off each other. So maybe someone's done that. You know, what's in a, what's in a managed service provider contract and agreement? You know, people that are, as they're evolving their services, moving maybe from the break-fix model to maybe more of a VAR and trying to get into that, they're able to leverage uh, these contacts at the user groups. But then beyond that, so there's the physical uh, with our user groups in IT Nation, but there's also the social, the social media side of it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're on Facebook. We got Google Plus account. We're still trying to figure that one out. I think everyone is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are. Um, but obviously LinkedIn, and that's just that virtual extension of that community. Yeah. And our partners are, are great, um, whether it's asking questions about ConnectWise or their more business-facing issues uh, and challenges that they're dealing with and uh, a lot of great um, conversations that are going on virtually as well. Um, and on the more in-house sort of uh, sort of social side is uh, the, the GrowMyITBusiness.com, the new website there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So GrowMyITBusiness.com, uh, the concept really is, okay, let's extend uh, ConnectWise's, uh, you know, reach into the, I, you know, for lack of a better word, the larger IT nation, mm -hmm. and provide uh, really a window inside of uh, the full of ConnectWise. So Grow My IT Business uh, has assets, uh, whether it's from uh, legal, uh, human resources assets, and we are going to add international. Um, <laughs> you know, we obviously have some US focused uh, human resource type um, compliance and things like sure. that. Um, marketing ideas, sales ideas, we have uh, great speakers. Some of those come from the IT nation events. Uh, some are some of the, the actual events that we do here in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, white papers that we put together. A, a lot of things to help a, a business owner maybe kind of take a look at, you know, what other people are doing and get some good ideas. So again, that's just extending uh, our, our ultimately our community. Uh, but we, but this is, uh, this is not just for our partners. This is actually for anybody. For broader. Yeah, yeah, anybody within the community uh, that can just get some good ideas within that. Okay, and also new, I, I gather, is is sort of supporting uh, technical certifications and taking a bigger role in in facilitating that in the channel. Can you can you elaborate a little on that? Yeah, yeah. We, so last year we looked at that. Uh, Jerry uh, Todd, uh, our director mm -hmm. of strategy, uh, was actually responsible for uh, putting that together. We spoke about it. IT Nation is available. We have uh, several hundred uh, partners today that are actually uh, taking advantage of it. So technical certifications provides this online. Uh, resourced right now strictly for our partners. So if you're a ConnectWise partner, you can take advantage of that today. Um, for your technicians to essentially, instead of going out, they're out a week and now they're not billable time, you provide them access to an online resource to uh, whether it's Cisco or Microsoft, you know, along those lines. They, they can study, they have a lot of coursework, a lot of detail. The content is, is great. The learning management system behind it uh, takes care and, and go ahead and manage their, their coursework as well. And then they can go ahead and, uh, you know, whether it's a proctor or however they would take that certification, they can do that. Um, we're finding a lot of excitement about that because they can still build their time eight to five 
and they can take their cor coursework, you know, maybe on the weekends or whenever they have that time. But the reason uh, we're doing it is multifold. Uh, one is is employee retention. We heard a lot from partners mm -hmm. that they're getting bored. They're not, you know, I, I promise them training, but I can't really give it to them because I can't afford it and things like that. Yeah. The technical certifications is really a fraction of the cost of one course. They could take virtually every certification uh, <laughs> if they wanted to uh, online in, in, in the course of 30 days or a year, depending on how they would sign up for that service. So that was good. So from a retention standpoint, we are hearing that employees are excited about that. You know, technicians, we, we like to go ahead and continue to learn and sometimes maybe be on the, the bleeding edge of, mm. uh, of things like that. So we're hearing a lot of good feedback there. Um, but from the other standpoint, there's really a revenue aspect. You know, uh, Microsoft makes a change and you have to be, have these certifications to be, you know, Microsoft partner yeah. and things like that. That's key. So we want to make sure our partners are having employees that are maintaining those certifications so they can keep that Microsoft approved logo, you know, so yeah. to speak, uh, yeah. on their website and they can speak to that to their to their prospects and, and clients. And, and hopefully move that uh, Microsoft approved logo up to a Microsoft Gold logo over, over time and, and exactly. grow the value. Exactly. There's a lot of value in those certifications, so we know it. And, uh, and that's why we've kind of put that essentially on our roadmap. Like, yeah. It's not really, uh, it's not obviously the Kev Connect, uh, excuse me, it's not really ConnectWise software product, but it's part of how we've extended our, our reach into the community. That's right. what we're trying to do. Okay, and, and last but certainly not least is a topic you've brought up a few times over the course of this conversation, IT Nation. I realize it's, uh, it's very early in the process, but I wonder if you can give us a little bit of a, a preview. What can, uh, what can uh, IT Nation members expect at the big event this oh, year? Uh, you can expect uh, collaboration. You can expect um, a ton of breakout sessions, not just ConnectWise. It's not about learning ConnectWise product. Mm. That's a subset of it. Of course, we have that. We have a, a ton of partners uh, that come that are using ConnectWise, but we also have, we've opened it up to are allowing uh, uh, people who aren't ConnectWise partners to come. So we have a lot of educational in the form of sales, leadership skills, management training, and things like that. Social mm -hmm. media, how do you use social media in my organization? Yeah. I'm a small business. Um, it's a ton of, ton of training, uh, a ton of good thought leadership, uh, a lot of collaboration with uh, other IT solution providers and MSPs uh, from around the world. Uh, we get them from uh, multiple countries. You know, we have a lot of we have a great, uh, exciting, uh, vibrant uh, partner base in Australia, of course, in the United Kingdom, and then even other countries. In addition, we had a partner from France uh, last year that that came. So that cross collaboration. Again, I go back to. Several partners who said, as long as I walk out with one or two things, I put that in my business plan because that's my business planning is going to happen the end of November, early December for yeah. next year. And that's what I'm going to walk away with. So um, a terrific thing. Janine and her group, the community team, do a mm -hmm. great job putting that on. Um, we're opening up registration in May of this year, May 2012. So uh, it's a little bit earlier than, than, than normal. Obviously, we have a lot of vendors uh, that come there, and because it's a big event, uh, it's close to 2,000 total att att attendees when you include all the different vendors and our partners that, that come. So uh, one of the larger ones, obviously, within this space, and we're going to continue that. You know, the whole goal of IT Nation is it's not a ConnectWise, uh, which it evolved from. It's mm -hmm. not a ConnectWise um, summit or event. It is the event for everybody the within the space. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks for the preview. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks for your time. And, and thank you for, uh, for joining us and viewing. All right. Thanks, Robert.